Hello friends, welcome to Code Slate. This is a new series on load testing of APIs using Gatling. We know that there are many popular open source load testing tools. One of them is Gatling. So in this lesson, we will see how to get started with Gatling and integration of Gatling with Gradle. We will also see how to execute a simple load test with Gatling for a REST API that uses get method. So let's start. So here I created a Spring Boot application, um, which is an a, which provides an API to get the employee details. So I created a simple controller, which is having get employees and get employee by, by ID. So this is uh, this application, this is a Spring Boot application created using the uh, Spring initializer. So I created a controller to get the and I created a model uh, for employee and then simple service where I have in memory employees. So all these are the employees in um, which is in a cache. So and at the same time and I also have the I will also show the build dot gradle. So this is a gradle project created using Spring Boot in it. And I will be writing the performance test or load test for this application. So before that, I want to execute the. I want to um, request the URL. So I started the Spring Boot application um, using Gradle Boot Run. So this is already running. So I'll just curl the API. I'll just use the. If you see, we are able to get the API. So the API is ready. Now we will write the performance test for this API using the Gratlin. So let's start that. I created a new directory called performance test. All my performance tests will go here. Before that, I want to show something to you. Uh, so if you see here, in the settings.xml I said there is a performance there is a module called performance and this will be executed when when we build the parent level so now I create a build dot separate build file for this So Gratling uh, is written in Scala. So I'll just copy paste the build.xml performance test. So they need uh, high charts for beautiful charts or the reports that Gratling uh, generates as per when we run the performance test and I use latest Gatling version. So this test framework is written in Scala. So if you have um, Java knowledge, it's easy to write and my source my performance test will be in this file so i'll have the performance test here so let's start creating the performance test pre-copy that
So I just reload. Go back here. So I created the resources. So all my um, configuration goes here. So I created a, uh, this is a host where the performance um, against which host the performance is run. So as my Spring Boot is running on localhost, um, so I pointed to the localhost. It can be anything. It can be localhost or if you want running in the um, test environment like uh, performance test environment or a cluster, you can give the IP address directly here. All the configurations needed to connect that can be put in the application.conf. Uh, and then you have the URIs. What are the URIs the, your application exposes? I am exposing the employee and health. Um, and this is the performance. It can be, we can con we can look at this later, but these are the parameters for performance test. I mean, I'm having 10 users and then ramp up 100 seconds and then my test duration is 100 seconds. And these are the employees IDs, which I want to I want to use these employee IDs for performance test. So I have coded for six employees. So, but I'm saying that I want to test for 10 users. We'll see how, what will happen when we have this. So it will be a circular. So I, here are the, my performance tests. So I have created two requests. If you see the request, uh, this is how we create requests. So my request, this is any name. This is a HTTP, any name, and then this is a configuration. So the URL comes from the get you get employee comes from this configuration here this URI and then employee ID. So employee ID is like uh, dynamically I want to insert the employee ID by reading from the employee ID feeder. So the employee ID is I'm feeding the employee ID from the configuration file. So so that your load test or performance test will be dynamic more dynamic not just hard code the values so the the values are read from the configuration file and then it is feeded into the so this uh, this can be any request you can uh, this is much easier way uh, if you organize the request and separate the request and performance test actual performance test so i created all the requests here which are possible that is employee id which is get employee id and then health check and then and we are expecting the 200 uh, when when i query this api we are expecting so this is an assertion which can be checked like if it is expecting 200 or 40 all all possible ways you can do that and this is my actual performance test here if you see i am having the scenario where um, this is a scenario we can have multiple scenarios um, so in this lesson we'll see just basic scenario where we are running get employee and i'm feeding the data from the file so all the employees it will iterate for one by one all the employees whatever they are in this feeder will be supplied to the my test scenario so i am saying circular that means when i reach six it will go back to one if you see my test case is saying that i need to run for 10 users but i have only six users I'm saying 10 users, but I have only six users. So what I'm saying is, I'm saying circular. That means after six, go back to one. So the performance test will take the data from this and then it will circle uh, in a circular. It will feed to the test case. So my request, I want to execute get employee request. So the exe is for get employee and then I'm injecting the what is my performance test case? The performance test case is to have 10 users concurrent, uh, 10 users in ramp up seconds, that is 100 seconds. So I want 10 users, maximum 10 users in 100 seconds. And max duration of my test case is 100 seconds, that which I take from the configuration files. So these two these two are the values I take from the configuration file and feed it into my test cases. If you see config dot ramp up user this is nothing but i am loading the configuration factory 
so where the configuration comes from the application.conf so this is how the to load the configuration into your test case and then this is protocol the uh, http headers what all you want and the host host also comes from the configuration so this is how the it is very easy to put all the configuration into configuration file and then we can take you can we can modify no need of updating the test case but we can control the test cases using the configuration file uh, but we code so this is how the a basic performance test can be done and then integrated with the gradle so when i run the gradle load test then this whole test case will be executed against the my spring boot application which is already running let's see how it goes so this is a command load test if you go back here this is a task so this is a task which i am going to run using gradle so that this will invoke the test case so this will build and execute my test cases so let it compile and if you want one more task if you want one more test case spring uh, sorry performance test new performance test you can create a new a new uh, file a new performance test and then create a new task and then you can create as many tasks you want so if you see my test case are going on and if you go back to my app our application we can see so it is it started with hundred thousand thousand two and three so this is going on it is calling the employee by id yeah you see it's four 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 requests and sixth request five requests are done and one is active and four four is done so this this number gives five is still waiting so there are five more requests still waiting so if you see we are reached the number of users uh, leave about bus first two I was testing before I started this one so once we reach six it is going in a circular that is we are going back to thousand one thousand two like that so it, it keeps on circle until we reach six and again it go, it go back to one so this is how the we we can integrate with the gradle and then run the performance test and that is simple by having the module and then say so when we build the this project the performance tests also get built and then we can also have the dependencies we can also put the um, employee like we want to use the um, model classes inside the um, our performance test cases so that is also possible because it depends upon the um, this project depends upon the root project so this is way we can integrate we can reuse the model class. we need not write the model class like employee model class we can um, use that and then create the object and then um, uh, if you want to insert new employee so we you need not write the model classes we can reuse the model classes from the base project and then write test cases to insert a new employee so we'll see that in the later lessons uh, for now um, it's just basic how to integrate how to integrate the performance test within your uh, microservices application and then run using the gradle command this is very easy um, to run the application uh, performance test so i think we have finished with uh, one to six and then four so we are finished with ten users so it says um, 10 use uh, 10 requests and then uh, what is the average time it took and then at the same time it is average time is 0.11 second per request 
so we can see the beautiful um, reports from from the Gatling let's see the how the report looks so I'll just open here so if you see the request so the request right uh, the request get employee ID that comes from the whatever you queue in the request get employee ID here here is a request and my performance test So there are 10 requests all are okay and then average time is this all comes from Gatling dev, um, creates the report for us we need not do anything it just we need to run the test cases and it gives all these performance number resp number of responses per second and um, how how was our distribution of the request everything is uh, calculated and shown in the report so this is a basic way of basic test case but uh, you can write more sophisticated test case um, where number of requests number of um, you can control the number of users number of requests those things as well so we'll see that in the later lessons so gatling comes with uh, so before that what uh, we use gatling comes with uh, open model and closed model where the open model is uh, something like um, where you control the concurrent number of users um, whereas whereas uh, open system where you control the rate of arrival of the users whereas a closed system um, you where the concurrent uh, we control the number of concurrent users um, the arrival rate is con is controlled in the open system so there are open and closed workload models but uh, this one is a um, open workload model that what we have created this is an open work model where we say the um, we say the number of users but uh, we don't say how many concurrent number of users so this is an open model it can come in uh, a, a number of concurrent users we didn't mention here that's why it's an open model so we'll see that in the later lessons but um, this is how to integrate uh, Gatling uh, with our Gradle and this is very simple uh, performance test. Yeah, that's it from this lesson. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next lesson.